Three villages in the south, Arupanuni, Patarano, Santa Creek, and Chulinab have all confirmed cases of COVID-19. The men from Patarano village, ages 68 and 80, died hours apart. The newsroom was reliably informed that one of the men had direct contact with the positive COVID-19 patient, while the other had a relative who also tested positive. The newsroom was further informed that both men had underlying medical conditions and displayed COVID-19 symptoms, but died before health authorities arrived in the village to test them. When contacted, Program Coordinator for the South Arupanoni District Council, Kid James, told the newsroom that the village was currently making preparations to bury the men Friday, and as such, they will not be tested for COVID-19. They were not tested. Um, again, you see, because of the limited uh, number of tests here, it has those, those who were given priority for, for testing last week uh, were those within the immediate uh, families of of, of the, the those who were tested positive. James Forder stated that widespread testing is desperately needed in the region, or at least in the affected villages. However, Patarino is of major concern at this time. This particular village is closest to the Brazilian border, and due to heavy rains and flooding, it is becoming difficult for officials to access the village. Since the COVID-19 outbreak in the three villages, the council has been closely monitoring the villages and providing assistance with donations from the Amaranian People's Association and public citizens. We have been assisting in terms of getting food stuff to those villages, um, places like Shilinab, and they have had they have done it on their own in terms of assisting their satellite village, which is quite cool, right? Um, at the moment, uh, we uh, the the area of concern is the the Tarno and the Katoor, uh villages. Meanwhile, it was also revealed that CSEC students and teachers in Sand Creek have been placed on the quarantine. It is unclear how many teachers and students are on the quarantine or if they were tested, but medical teams were dispatched to a few villages to conduct testing recently. What we are now experiencing is that this may very well be here for some time to come, and we need to start planning both at our village councils and at the SRDC level, means and ways of how we can actually deal with this and, and uh, make sure that... Uh, that communities can continue to, to live, continue to be healthy, continue to be safe. Of the so far 18 confirmed COVID-19 cases in the region, half are imported cases from Brazil, one of the countries with the most cases in the world. Reporting for the Newsroom, I am Isinella Patwo.